Okay, so welcome back to Basin Motorsports. Today, we're gonna use the Evaporus solution to now take off a lot of rust on a set of brake rotors. So what we're gonna start with, these are the set, if you can see those. These are off a 1997 Ford Mustang GT that I'm swapping onto my wide body project I call Wide Fox, which is a 1980 Ford Mustang. So the test pieces themselves, you can see are quite rusty front to back down in the veins for the cooling but through using a vapor rust you can get them to be a nice ductile gray so in order to do this all we're going to do is put the brake rotor in this solution here of a vapor rust now this is a three gallon so it fits perfectly for 11 and 11 and a half 12 inch rotor it is It'll fit right in the bucket and it'll sit on top of the plastic basket in there and letting that sit overnight, it will go from rusty to the ductile gray. Okay, so in order to get this brick rotor set up, I've tied some wire around it. Now this is a stainless steel wire that will go through there. Don't, won't rust and it won't really bond to anything. So I tie it on here so that one, I can put this down in there easy into the solution. And then when I take it back out, I can use pull it up by the wire versus dipping my fingers down in the solution. Second piece from that is that when it's washed off and you want to dip it down in the solution and then hang it, you can see I've got a, my engine hoist here hanging over the solution. That way I can pull it up, hook this loop that I've tied into the, the wire, hook it over the chain, and then I can let it air dry, basically drip dry there and air dry. And then I really don't have to do much work. So the solution takes off all the rust. All I do is wash it, dip it, let it air dry, and it's protected. So we're going to go ahead and let this get in there and sit overnight. And then we'll come back tomorrow and see what we got. Okay, so after leaving it overnight, let's see what we have. So the rotor looks pretty darn good. Really, everything came off nicely. So I'm going to take this inside and scrub this down in some hot or basically warm hot water kind of and use a green scotch bright to scrub it with and once that's done I'll bring it back and show you the finished product before I dip it okay so here is the washed a little bit of scrubbing and then just dry to the paper towel rotor look at the difference in that of you remember how bad it was how crusty the thing was really no rust left very nice rotor front and back now on these for the mustang what i'm going to do is after i dip them and let them dry i'm going to re-scrub the center off of here with just some sandpaper and that hit them with some etch primer i'll cover up the rotor surface so i don't paint it but i'm gonna hit this with some etch primer and then some black and that's just going to give it a little bit of i don't want to say pop but it's a little bit of contrast i think with the finished product and then once you see the wheel size, you'll see just black, which will make it really, look really uh, very nice. Now the last step to this is just going to be dip this in there real quick. And then I'm going to hang it from my engine hanger and let it drip dry. Okay, so here's the finished product after allowing it to drip dry. Very good, clean surface. Remember, I'm gonna paint these, so I'm just gonna scuff them, etch prime them, paint them, and get them to a nice black surface. Now you may wanna take these in and have them turned if you want a um, better 
contact patch for your pads and you can always check your pads maybe get some new pads at the same time but these babies are ready to go on the car after they are dry and you can always just put them on as a nice gray surface and they are sealed from rusting again so you don't have to worry about them turning back to a nice orange uh, nastiness so that's it for this time from basin motorsports i've got more stuff to put in this evapo rust so i'm going to get those together and throw it in the bucket but that is it for this time i'll see you next time